Hey everyone, so I'm going to be showing you um, just a review on something that I tried out. Um, it's called the Mendy Henna Kit, and I did try this, um, and it's from Michaels. I was actually surprised that they sold this because um, usually when I go on vacation, um, they make their own henna kit, and like each little tattoo is like $12. So I decided to buy it just for me and my cousins to look um, and just see how that worked. Um, the henna kit um, came with this bottle of henna, and it came with powder when you first get it. Um, it came with, I think, Mordon liquid, it's called, and eucalyptus oil. And those are just the three things just to help it um, fuse together and activate the actual henna. Um, if you don't know what henna is, it's basically um, a temporary tattoo. And I know in some cultures they would wear it um, prior to a wedding or a bridal shower. It just depends on what religion it is. It's just for something. It makes um, it beautiful, I guess. I know most people in different cultures, they put it in their hand or they put it on their feet. But um, most westernized cultures, we just do it as just like a regular tattoo just because we're not as um, cultural as other people are. Whatever. Um, so basically, yeah, you just stir that up for 45 minutes and like let it age for a bit. So then when you're done, it comes out with this little bottle and it does fill up all the way. And I guess if you're doing like a party, this will help maybe 10 people. And yeah, it was just me and three of my friends who did it. So I basically felt like Frida Kahlo and just tattooed all over my body. Um, this cost about $12.99, but I use this on uh, my... 15% off for my employee discount from working at Michael's and also a 40% off a regular coupon. Um, when this does come out, it kind of looks like Nutella and when it dries, it'll feel very cracky and the first day it'll turn orange and then the following day, like after you sleep, it's going to turn brown. So this is what I did yesterday and it's just, um, yeah, there's a henna, a regular traditional henna design. I'm not a henna artist. I just did this off the top of my head and I looked through color pictures on YouTube. So this is um this is the one that I made last night and it turned orange. And I did the other one, I did another one two days ago and it turned brown. So this is how this one looks. And this is another design that I made. And then um I'll show you the things that I made yesterday. They're both orange. So I made this one, which is my hand. And I made one on my foot, but I don't know if you could really see it. Oh, this is really awkward. Yeah, I'm not really that good, but I attempt to try. So yeah, it goes all the way to my ankle. And the ones that I made two days ago was this design, which is a regular traditional henna design, which is like this on this lady's hand. And I made an elephant tattoo. If I could like turn my wrist all the way and it's like letting water come out. And I have this um, star catcher or dream catcher design. And what else did I have? Oh, I also have two on my stomach. This is gonna be really weird. Let's see. I'll put this one down. Yeah, I'm in my uniform because I'm about to go to work. So this one is like a bird that I did. The other one is just another henna design. This is lighter just because um. I'll explain how the darkening process will work. So hi again. So you want to see that's how it looks like from here. And that's what my bird looks like from here. Sorry for showing you my belly button. Um, I'm a person of color, so I'm tan. So the chances of, like, if you're my complexion, it's going to turn out like this. Now, if you're white like Jean, it's going to show very dark. It's going to be, um... It'll be very, very brown, and it's also depending on where your um the your body heat because um if I, I have another one. This is a half heart. Like me and Jean have one, so it looks like heart when we're together when we're holding hands. Um, your this will have the most brown after this the second day, just because here is the most. Uh, this is the warmest part of you could like probably head up. And this one will be a little lighter just because it's colder here and hotter. It's warmer here. And near my hips, it'll be a lighter color just because I don't have that much heat there. Um, yeah, and then everywhere else is just lighter. Like, this is the darkest and these are the two lightest that I have. So, yeah. I actually thought that this one wasn't going to work just because it was a Michaels product. And I was like, oh, this is just another um, mediocre thing. 
but actually works pretty uh, pretty well. The only thing that I don't like about it, it's really runny. So um, you have to make your lines very, very thin. So if you ever want to try this out, it's called the Mandy Henna Kit. And out of a 1 to 10 scale of how much I like it, I like it hmm, probably 7.5 just because sometimes um, it'll stain a little lighter than other areas of my body and I did not know that. And also that it's runny and I need that for like the intricate designs. Like some things in my hand like warped into something that I don't even know what it looks like. I mean it looks good now just because everything else looks like it's graffitied all over my hand. So yeah, so I hope you like this review and maybe you'll buy it. Because I know whenever I go to like a vacation, henna kits are not, I mean the henna tattoos are very expensive. So whenever me and my... 13 cousins come on a vacation. I'm just like, you know what? Pay me with love and I'll do it for you for free. Because I'm just an awesome ate like that. So yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this review and maybe you'll try it out and I will see you guys again, all right? Bye guys. Stop. <laughs>